Hello, I'm quickly going to show you a few um, examples of the project, just to give you some ideas. Um, the first example I want to show you is a project that would not receive um, necessarily a good grade. It's this one. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, Ms. Alfred, this looks neat. How come it looks detailed? There's complete sentences. The reason the student would not get a good grade is because this project is typed and the pictures were printed out on the printer. That is not a way to get a good grade on this project. One of the requirements is that it has to be handwritten. So handwritten, neat, uh, use a theme, and be creative. So this would not be a good grade. Here are a couple of amazing projects. So you can see this one is neat and handwritten. It's extremely creative. It has a really cool theme. This was an excellent project. Here's another really good one. The themes can be fun. You don't need to make them about your element or anything to do with chemistry. It can be fun and creative. Um, here's another one. This has like a uh, fall theme. And if you choose to make yours on a booklet, instead of a um, instead of a tissue box. If you're having trouble getting hold of tissue boxes, because I know sometimes it can be tough to get supplies these days, you're going to follow the exact same format as a tissue box, but you can just put it in booklet format. So very simple. Okay. There are more details if you go into the module, and that's why I have my share screen up. Um, if you go to the um, element project examples PDF and pull that up. It will go into details over what makes a good project um, and what is required. The next thing I want to show you is where you can find out what your element is. This will vary slightly depending on your teacher, but it will be listed in the rubric. You're just going to go to click on list of assigned elements. Click on that. It will open it in a new window and you'll just look for your name. Okay. So that's where you're going to find that. All right. Now, let's get back to my module and I want to talk to you a little bit about project submission. So with the All About Me project, which was a very brand new um, situation, we had all just gotten here. I, there was a lot of confusion about how to turn the things in, and there were a lot of students who were submitting via email. Do not submit your project using email. You need to submit it like this. You're going to click on the assignment. It will say Elements Project Assignment. All right, and this gives you all the instructions and the rubric and everything, but if you um, look at this top, um, right hand corner it says submit assignment this is how you're going to submit the assignment not using google drive not emailing it to me using this button right here if you click on that it will tell you to choose a file so if you take pictures of your assignment and upload them to google drive like i showed you in the previous video or whether you put them in a powerpoint slide however you want to do it um, you're going to choose that file or the files where you put the pictures and just click on it and upload it. And if you take a bunch of pictures and you upload them to Google Drive, you can just add another file and add all six of your pictures that way. So please do not submit using email or sending me a link on Google Drive. Um, it doesn't work as well because sometimes I don't have your email. Um, list in the system and might send it to junk mail or something else. So prevent any confusion, you're going to need to submit it using this submit assignment button. If you have not already, make sure you are only using your Comro ISD um, Google name because if you're saving everything to Google Drive and it's your personal Google Drive, the, you could get errors that way. So um, that is how you're going to do that. And again, if you need more details on the specifics, I encourage you to look at the module um, where it is asking you where it says examples for, for students, because this document will take you through what makes a good example, 
um, bad example, and um, somewhere in between. You can look at the variations of project types. So there's a 100% project. And we'll wait for the pictures. There it is. There's a 100% project. Here's an example of a 90% project, an 80% project, and a 70% project. So please check that out. Um, the projects are going to be due, whether online or in person, no later than September the 18th. Can't wait to see your submissions. Have a great day.